Welcome back. You'll remember earlier in the show, Bahar shared tips on how to protect your hair during the summer. Now, hairstylist Bill Rowley is here to add to the conversation with ways to fight the frizz. And Bill, oh, what a gorgeous model you have there. Don't I have this? This is a beautiful model named Janice. Um, and I just want to let everybody know that the reason I can do this is because when this whole thing started, Janice and I are, are neighbors. Our families are incredibly close. And we just thought it would be easier for both of us yes. to self-isolate together. So we've actually been through this since the beginning. And uh, we feed each other and we go to the grocery stores for each other and we keep each other sane. Yeah. Or try to. And company. And company. I think that's truly lovely. I have seen Uncle Bill at the teen parties that happen at Janice's house. So yes, <laughs> you are a part of the family. So let's talk about frizz. What are we oh. doing to fight that frizz? <laughs> you were the hit of the party. <laughs> okay, frizz. We're gonna talk about frizz. So frizz happens in, in basically in two ways. A lot of people get this halo of frizz in the humid weather. Uh, Janice has beautiful, beautiful thick hair, and you can start to see these little pieces come out. And it's even worse now because people haven't had a haircut in so long that everything is being very exaggerated. So this halo of frizz is caused by hair growing in, hair breaking off, which is very normal. Hair has, you know, it, it grows in, it breaks off, new hair grows in, all that kind of stuff. To deal with this kind of frizz, you want to use more traditional products, Tracy. You want to use the mousses, the gels, spray gels, because when you put a product that close to the root, it can get greasy on you, right? And that's what we don't want in humid weather. So if you take a little bit of a more traditional, I've just grabbed a gel, and really hit it with the roots with that, then your blow dryer. Your blow dryer comes with this nozzle for a reason. It concentrates the heat. If you make sure you always blow dry down the hair like this, it will really keep those little hairs down. What you can even do is heat it up and put your hand on it and just let it sit there and, it, and let it cool under your hand and all those little pieces will just lay really, really flat. You can also use your styler or if you have a mini uh, smoothing iron, just to go in and grab those little pieces. These are the telltale pieces here and here, right? In front of the ear. And for any of that halo of frizz, those will work really, really well. Who knew that this was an actual technical thing you could do? Because I do this all the time after I flat iron. I put my hand on my head and hold it down. So Bill's saying go for it. Now you're, you're also yeah. saying you've got tips for folks with other textures, tighter curls, kinky coils. What do you do about frizz? The other area that hair goes frizzy is at the bottom, with, especially with any kind of natural curl, texture, wave. It doesn't matter if it's a soft wave or a super tight curl. And again, because no one's had a haircut in so long, it's just exploding on the bottom, right? You can make a little cocktail. And I love doing this. Take a little bit of gel and a little bit of a leave-in conditioner and put them together like this. And then just, I'm gonna do it on this side because I'm going to do something else on this side. Just start running that through the ends of your hair where your hair is most porous. And you wanna do this when your hair is slightly damp or wet. And you can even see, just with that little bit, see how Janice's wave just started to come to life? Now the, the gel mm -hmm. gives the hair control, but the leave-in conditioner keeps it soft and moisturized. And that's what we all know curly hair needs, right? It needs moisture. It's naturally dry hair, naturally curly hair. So we need to keep it really well moisturized. I really advise at this point, get into some of the hair oils. They're so fantastic. You can, again, put it in wet or dry. And the heavier the hair, the heavier the oil. So I'm using a medium oil because Janice has got a lot of hair, but kind of a medium texture. But if you've got fine hair, you want to use a finer oil. And then if you've got the really thick textured, super curly hair, go for it. You find the oil that works for you. And again, it will, see, I'm not even using anything. And look what happens to her ends. They really just start to come together. If you need to add a little bit, take your wand or your, your curling iron. And you know, your, your curls curl in the same curl pattern every time. So take that particular curl and just wrap the ends around. These ones that are kind of cone shaped are nice. And that will completely just seal the curl on the ends. And it'll really help dis 
the sky's camouflage, the split ends, the frizziness, uh, and it's gonna it's going to take us through until we can all meet again in the salon, which I can't wait for. Oh, thank you for that.